Ten days have passed since the independent counsel team officially launched the probe, and now the team dedicated to the Chen Sunshou case speeds up the process. The team questions a number of key figures to get to uncover the truth. Huang Wujun starts us off. Three days after he was questioned for the first time, former senior presidential secretary for policy coordination An Zhongbom was once again questioned by the independent counsel team on Friday afternoon. The team suspects An, who kept detailed notes of Park's directives, would also have included an account of Samsung's 1.3 million U.S. dollar donation to the Korea Winter Sports Elite Center, a foundation controlled by Tang Shihu, the niece of Choi Sun Shil. The team is also questioning Tang and Deputy Vice Culture Minister Kim Jong about the same matter to determine whether the nature of the relationship between the tech giant and the foundation. During a briefing by the independent counsel team on Friday, spokesperson Lee Yu-chul said the team has acquired the necessary information for its investigation into the college admission of Choi Sun Shil's daughter Chong Yura. After raiding the home and offices of Chong's former chancellor and professor, as well as the Korea Equestrian Federation, Choi is also suspected of using her influence to win special treatment for her daughter at school. Lee also refuted comments from President Park's legal team, implying the independent counsel team's investigation is biased. I'm not sure on what basis the claim that the team lacks political impartiality was made, but we don't have anything specific to comment on that. The team's investigation has now continued for almost a full month, including the 20 days of preparations guaranteed by law. The independent counsel now has 60 days to go in its investigation, which has an optional 30-day extension, and it's likely to take on an added urgency with the impeachment trial set to begin in the first week of the new year. Huang Wujun, Arirang News.